Hey guys, so this is my second build week, and uh, we're going to start in the park that I got from Mask. Um, and tr truth be told, I mean, it's been a, a while, so this has been done for a while. Um, I also didn't record everything that I did. Um, so we're starting in this park, but I'm going to jump into the the park pretty much all finished up um i did record some build sections and i'll do some time lapse there but um for now i mean this is this is what you're gonna get because i forgot to uh i forgot to press record um but I, what i wanted to show initially so if you look we've got really smooth terrain changes um it goes from a high point to a low point but it's very, very, very gentle. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it because it's actually, it's not too hard. It just takes a bit of time. Um, so I'm going to go over here and open up the terrain tool. You're going to use the flatten to foundation. Um, make the size big and decrease the intensity quite a bit because you want to create a gentle slope between points A and point B. So if point B Let's see, let me throw some, let me go further. All right, let's actually, okay. So let's do this right here. If I take the flatten to foundation tool and I just start pretty much feathering it from one point to the other. This is how you get um, kind of a long-term slope. And yeah, it takes a few times because since there's no averager in um, planet coaster you just kind of have to do it yourself and so what it's doing is you're basically averaging the point between this top part and this bottom part um, and you're just doing it manually with a few clicks here and a few clicks there and then you can smooth it out when it looks like it's close uh, this and the slope might be a little that's actually not too bad um, you typically want to keep path slopes pretty shallow um, because people typically don't like to walk up steep slopes. Also, it's a hazard to uh, <laughs> to any, let's say, larger guests. Um, because especially with the sun exposure, and then you're making them walk up these crazy hills. I know that it doesn't matter in Planet Coaster, but it's it goes into the design of what you're trying to do. Um, and so then if you place a path on there which I am poorly doing. Hold on. It's been a while. I haven't played this game in forever. You can get super, super... Okay, so it needed to be a little bit smoother. But, you know, you get the gist. Alright, so here we are. And you'll immediately notice, I mean, I'm in the, the most recent version of the park. Um, everything's pretty much done at this point. I do have some time lapses I'm going to show um, of the coaster station and um, one of the ODV carts, but I didn't uh, I didn't get everything recorded. Um, I just got <laughs> into the game and I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to do this. Um, the first thing that you might notice is I actually created a berm. Um, I was able to berm up, oops, mass station and I think it looks a lot better. Um, I think he would say it looks a lot better. Um, you can see we still have Christmas decorations on there. Let me just get rid of that. <laughs> but the popcorn lights, they will stay. Um, I did improve his station a bit. I just did some some things when I brought it over. I cleaned it up, um, changed the changed the colors to brown and like a faded blue. Yeah, just. Just some things, just some things in here. I even gave it an interior. You know, nothing too crazy, but it's, yeah, something. Um, and at night, I think I still have the Christmas decorations on because I haven't, haven't played this in a while. <laughs> you can see how far behind we are. Um, yeah, so I've got floodlights on all the trees and stuff, and yeah, it looked pretty. Um, but it was pretty much useless because we didn't actually show it during Christmas. <laughs> but whatever. We'll try it again. Um, cleaned up the paths a little bit too. Uh, I didn't get to work on Mass uh, Emporium here all that much, although I do still want to work on it. Um, I think a lot of it is really good. I think I just want to shrink this 
this down a little bit. I think it's too Disney in scale right now. I think it needs to come down just a little bit. Um, you know, improve the pads. It took some time to clean up the uh, the front here, so I added some curbs and some simple greenery, simple fences. You know, on the other side, it's still an incomplete building. But you know, you would typically see this um, at the front. There's really nothing to show, but there is this in the back here, which allows you to get back here. Yeah, we haven't really figured out how that's gonna go yet, but also this side um, has a nice little low wall. People can kind of see over it, but it's mostly protected. Some simple trees, um, especially in the front, I have these big old trees anchoring, because um, I wanted to feel like this park has been here for a while. As we get further into the expansion that I did, um, you can see there's a coaster now, there's another coaster. Um, so I built an another one, even though I wasn't supposed to, um, but I sometimes can't help myself. I thought that, you know, we need, we needed, what happened to the supports here? There used to be supports. Um, that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's what you do, Frontier. Sometimes you screw me up because things were one way and then they update and things aren't the other way. It's all right. Whatever. So anyway, you know, we decided, well, we didn't decide. I decided that we needed a coaster, you know, um, something in the front here that kind of took up this area, but it wasn't too imposing. Um, so Arrow definitely came to mind because they built some some nice 100 foot coasters. Um, I forget exactly how big this one is, but it's really not that large. Kind of settles into the train a bit. It's a simple custom looper that has a few hills, has a double loop and then a double corkscrew and then that's it. Um, <laughs> if you can call those corkscrews. They're, they're Planet Coaster corkscrews, which is the best I could do for now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to spend forever on, on this coaster designer because it's just not, it's not as powerful as some of the others I've worked with and it, this is good enough. It, it gets the job done. Um, you can see here, ooh, we have a big line. I wonder if this, I wonder if this actually got fixed in, uh, the update because this ride never had a huge line, not one that went all the way there. But what I really wanted to focus on, and not get on a tangent about a coaster, <laughs> is that we're employing that diverting path mechanism that I was talking about. So, from this point up here, you have a number of ways, or the, the simulation has a number of ways it can go. It can either go out towards the train station, it can go down towards this plaza, um, without having to go all the way around, it can actually you know, divert through here. Or, if people want to go straight to the coaster, which they seem to want to do, because it's kind of the only big thing in the park right now, um, they have this path that they can choose. And that allows them to get directly where they want to go, and then once they realize they don't want to wait in that line, which, let's see, this, yep, that family doesn't want to wait. So they can go down this staircase, um, but there were other ways for people to go. There's another diverting path here that helps you get down to this lower plaza. And so what it does, even there, though there's a thousand people in this park already, I'm not seeing the, I'm not seeing the crunch that other parks seem to have. I mean, you're kind of getting it here, but it is kind of a busy area. And I think as more rides are put in, it will even out. Um, but I, I really take a look at how people are flowing through and I get the sense that this system is working because I don't see a lot of people clogging up any one certain path. And so that's what we're trying to do here. And this kind of sets the tone for the rest of the expansion. I think Mass is going to work on this in his next build week, um, which should be some like old school shops. We kind of want this to be the oldest part of the park. Um, so it will be like more cutesy themed, maybe a little bit rustic. Um, you can see the trains or the coaster station is definitely like, I don't know, glorious eighties and kind of weird too. It's like a, it's like classic, but it's also got a weird shape to it. 
I don't know. We're we're pulling from a lot of different parts when we when we build stuff like this. But I feel like it's starting to look really natural, and I'm happy with it. And I hope uh, I hope Mass likes it. So enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you right back here. <laughs>
that does it for my build week um i got a lot done again uh i probably did more than i needed to but kind of wanted to get going and, and get something substantial in the park uh, this is definitely our first area and it, it will set the tone for what mass is going to do um he's been pretty good at doing theme structures so i'm kind of excited to see where he goes um i know i've been mostly doing generic and u ultra generic structures but, you know, it's it's a mix of both. Um, a theme park has a lot of generic structures and a few theme structures. Um, and the mix is kind of what you want. So we'll see what he thinks in the next episode. And then he can take the park for another go. And uh, we'll see what he does. But I'm liking where it's headed. Um, I, think it's, I think it's looking really sharp. And... It's actually running pretty well, too, so far. I mean, it's only a, a small section so far, but we'll definitely see. We'll see how far we can take a Planet Coaster and see, you know, if our style uh, works with a full theme park. You know, if we can continue to run it over time. Um, I'm kind of concerned about that, but not really concerned because I have seen really big parks that run just fine on my machine. Um, it's just the super detailed ones that tend to fall apart. And we are trying to be very detailed, even in our generic kind of way. It's still detailed. I mean, there's still things like curves, custom curves, and fences. So yeah, it's not super detailed, but even with the generic, there's a lot of it. And when you bring it up over the entire park, it could be a lot of objects. But we'll see. Um, we're definitely going to keep going until it breaks. Uh, and I hope it doesn't break, but... That's kind of the game you play, especially with this relatively new game that promises full theme parks. And I have downloaded full theme parks, and they run fairly well, so I don't think we're going to have a problem. I know I'm just talking to, I guess, reassure myself and also scare myself, but uh, I don't think we're going to have a problem. I hope we're not going to have a problem. <laughs> Alright, I need to end this. I will go see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.